So now all that's left to be done is just press record again and you can actually start recording. Now one thing I will talk to you about is mic position. We mentioned before that we don't have to worry about phase cancellation uh, because of the unique XY configuration of the stereo mics. But another thing that audio engineers think about when recording is mic proximity. Obviously, the closer you are to the sound source, the louder it will be. But also a couple of other things change as you get closer to a, a sound source. First is that relationship between the direct and reflected sound, it starts to change. I'm talking to you through a shotgun mic. It's just out of uh, range of the camera. It's probably about two and a half feet from my mouth. Let's switch over. Can we switch over to the other mic? That this is much further away. While it's a little quieter, the, the main difference you can hear is that you can hear much more of the room that I'm recording in, the reflection off of the wall, off of the walls and the ceilings, the reverberation of the reverb uh, for short. Let's, can we switch back to this guy? Uh, now, if there's one thing that makes an audio recording sound just cheap and nasty is the, that effect of hearing the room reflections. So, the best way to record if you want a more direct sound is to get in close. Now, another thing that changes as you get close is that the low end or the bass is more pronounced. For a natural sounding acoustic guitar performance, I'd place the H4N about two to four feet from the guitar. Move it a little further away to bring in the sound of the room. This might maybe sound a little nicer on a more sparse arrangement, maybe on a classical guitar. If you really want to cut down on the natural reflections coming off of your walls, you could invest ten dollars to $20,000 to have a soundproof booth uh, with a floating floor installed in your home, or, you know what, a walk-in closet works pretty well too. If you have a walk-in closet that is lined with soft clothes, uh, jackets and sweaters, it's really a perfect environment to get that dry, reflection-free uh, studio sound right in your own home. It's a really, uh, it's, a, it's a very available alternative.